Okay, so before I start today's video, I just want to say that I've made an Amazon basket of like 40 quid of makeup. I have no clue what I'm doing. So, um, if you guys could give me some tips on what makeup to buy, because I want to try and start wearing makeup, because I don't wear any, and I feel like my face is disgusting pretty much all the time. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions for makeup, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Hey guys, and welcome into the Raxi Report! Okay, so today I wanted to talk about a little bit of more of a serious subject. Today I wanted to talk about how I came out and maybe make this into a tag because I'd love to hear your stories and how you came out and your technique and what you did and what caused you to get to that point of needing to and I'd love to hear that. Okay, so my story starts in 2008 um, when I was at college. Um, I discovered what the word transgendered meant via Wikipedia and Google because I'd heard of what transgendered was but I didn't know what it was, if that makes any sense. I'd heard kind of derogatory terms thrown around over the years and had always wondered what does that mean and it wasn't until I did a little bit of research that I was like oh wow this really really kind of explains my situation. I can't explain that sense of discovery because it was so um, empowering in some ways because it was like Oh my god, I actually have some form of way of knowing what's wrong with me. <laughs> because at the time I thought there was something wrong with me. And um, finally finding out what it was called was a really good step forward, I suppose. Thankfully nowadays uh, it's a lot more out there than it was then. Um, because of course now stuff like Caitlyn Jenner has happened. And uh, there's a lot more trans people in media. And that's, that's a great benefit, definitely. Maybe not the people themselves. Uh, <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. But in terms of uh, what they've done for the community by kind of bringing it to the forefront is definitely help. So I didn't end up doing anything with this knowledge until 2011. Do I regret not doing anything and coming out sooner? Yes. I, I had three years of basically holding it within me, kind of trying to work out if I was weird or not, and um, there was a battle going on in my brain where I was like, no, there's, no, this, this, guy, this can't be a thing, I, I can't really be trans, I can't, I'm not a woman kind of thing, and there was this battle going on in my head, and um, it was really damaging, I suppose, because if I had come out there and then. If I had just gone, hey yeah, let's do this kind of thing, um, I'd be a hell of a lot more forward in my transition, I, uh, but I may have not have learned the experience that I got from waiting those three years by kind of researching and everything else. So I don't know if it's such a good idea to just jump into something like that because you need to find out in yourself if that's what you really want to do and I think that's why we have to wait so long with the gender clinic and stuff because that's basically what they're making sure that we aren't making the wrong decision. Wow, did I just agree with the gender clinic? <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up! <laughs> One point to you, gender clinic! Okay, so I kept this information within me until 2011 and I was like, right, I need to do something to take my mind off of it because at this point it was writhing around in my mind like crazy. So I was like, I will get a job and I was like, yeah, yeah let's do this. So I started working at Game Station, um, had a really great time there. It was amazing to work in a game store to begin with. Um, met some really great people. Hi, Emma. Um, and it was just amazing. And But it was kind of knackered by the fact that I couldn't think straight half the time. And I was like, right, you know what? I need to take some time for myself and I need to work out what the hell's going on. So I ended up quitting. And um, after quitting, I explained what was going on to my stepbrother. And... Um, he thought I was joking at first, um, and I finally kind of explained to him that I wasn't, and he was like, right, okay, you need to talk to your stepmom. Um, and that was possibly the, the best thing I did, because uh, my stepmom was the one who took me to the doctors, and that was the first time that I got to speak to a doctor about it, and she was amazing and really supportive, and was just like, right, okay. And kind of, there was no kind of like, are you sure? Or whatever. It was just an instant thing. So that was absolutely fantastic and absolutely amazing. But I still had 
the worry of telling my dad and my nan and of the, course they're the closest to me because they've known me for the longest and that was incredibly difficult. I was getting up the nerves to tell my dad when an opportunity came up to work in Smith's toy store for the Christmas period and I didn't want to take it. But my dad, not knowing, was like, you need to take this, it's a great step, it's money. And I was just like, but no, I need to tell you something. Um, but I couldn't do it. And I ended up working at this place until November of 2011 and hating every minute of it. And it broke me um, quite badly because I was stressed out to beyond belief. And um, I... I ended up having a breakdown. Um, I couldn't keep on going. Um, and basically I ended up uh, driving home after driving to work in the morning. I drove back almost immediately, didn't even get to work. And I just, uh, I bought this uh, um, about a couple of months previous to give to co-workers and stuff. This is um, True Selves. Uh, which is a uh, an understanding of transsexualism. This is a book that basically you can give to co-workers. Uh, the best popular introduction to transsexualism. I definitely recommend this book. It's really cool to give to family and members of, of, of your work and other stuff. Uh, basically, it just is a kind of an escape goat for people who haven't got the voice to be like, hey, this is what I am. So this is my escape goat. So I immediately walked into the house. My dad was sat at the, the dining room table with his toast and his breakfast and I went straight to my room. He was like, what the hell are you doing back and you got to work and stuff. And I, I was in tears and I literally just went in there and I chucked the bush, book at him and was like, I'm a woman. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to do that, but there you go. I, I did it anyway. Um, and uh, I... <laughs> I I will always remember his face. Uh, it was just this look of just um. It's like time had paused. There was a there was a piece of toast hanging out of his mouth. Um, <laughs> it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I wish I'd taken a picture of it, but unfortunately I didn't. Um, but I was just so upset, and all he said was okay. And then he went to work, and I didn't speak to him for two days. Um. And I think that period of waiting was the hardest part because you're waiting for acceptance, I suppose, from whoever you tell in, in whatever situation you're in. Um, acceptance is a humongous part of all of our lives and we need that from people. And the idea of having to wait for that is the worst. And so I was waiting for that and I was waiting for, to do something with my transition because I felt like once I told him that I could move on and um, that was hard. It was so hard and thankfully, as you as you all know now, he's absolutely fantastic and he, and he was over time. He asked me, he started, it was the point where he started asking me questions jokingly about it. Like, he'd be like, oh, so you're not going to want to get this car. It's, it's too badly. And it, he he makes small jokes. And that was a good step because that was him trying to process it. And it was really awesome. So if your family start doing that, then that's a good sign. And it's a good step. Um, and then um, basically that happened. And I was like, right, so... I moved on with my life and I could finally do something and um and basically that's it. I know that a lot of people don't have it as easy as that and that's some kind of like magical coming out story. It's it's not everyone has that experience and I'm hoping with the videos that I make, I'm hoping with our community of people that the videos that they make and um but Beverly, Nicole, um, uh, Jack the Bomb, I'm hoping that our videos can, uh, Vespi, Jack, you know, I, I, there's so many people out there who are so amazing and I really hope that their videos can maybe change people's minds on it because there's still an issue of coming out and there's still an issue surrounding that and, um, I want people to have that ease of kind of being like, hey, I'm this and people being like, right, Okay. 
but unfortunately that's not how it always goes and it's really painful to see that happen in, especially in the case of Nikita recently it's just it's horrible it's 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 not good and so I want to hear your stories I want to hear your coming out experience if you haven't come out yet then then tell me about it and Maybe together, as a community, we can come together with some kind of idea. Definitely recommend this book, though. This is really awesome. I think it's on Amazon. Um, but the author um, is Mildred L. Brown and Chloe and Rounds Roundsley. There you go. I'll put it there <laughs> uh, so you guys can see that. So anyway, that's really it. But um, I just wanted to explain my situation because I've done a video on this before and it was my first ever video I think no it was my second ever video and it wasn't very good so I needed to kind of update it and kind of make it a bit more ease of access because that video is horrible to watch back down for me um but yeah so that's really it I hope you guys are having a fantastic day um I'm going to be getting my dad to react to a video that my friend Seth made Mr. Go go check out Mr. Cooler 429 M R C O O L R four two uh, Mr. Corner four yeah four two nine. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Go and watch that video. I think it's my first the first ever dad fan video, basically of someone shouting out dad and me and just talking about the channel. That's really cool, and I always want my dad to watch it. So that's the video that will be upcoming. Anyway, thank you so much for the support and love and just being an amazing community and. Yeah, so thanks for watching me. Until next time, that's me. Out. There you go.